What is going on guys? Today we have the return of the Huawei Mate XS. So this is a part two to our previous video. This video today is gonna to be more of an in-depth spec breakdown as promised. So what we're gonna do is dive in a bit more detail into what this phone can do. So yeah, what we're gonna do is show off some of the parts and basically go into a bit more detail. So we're going to start as usual with the front of the screen. This is a 8 inch OLED display so it's going to have that incredible quality. So you'll notice it will hit those really deep black colours. It gets the dark spots really well on an OLED display. So obviously folded though you just basically get a halved version of that original display. Now the apps do shrink slightly, I'm sure if you can see that perfectly well but yeah so then it just it works like a normal phone, you can make your calls whatever just on that normal phone display inside this phone you have a kirin 990 5g cpu so that is an incredible process for the size especially when you think that the phone is that thin and all the stuff is basically packed into this strip where the camera is so that's fairly incredible i think it's 8 gig of RAM packs inside of this along with 512 gig of storage. So that is an incredible size with an additional 256 gigabytes of available storage in the SD card slot. So you can pack this with even more storage if needs be. So as previously mentioned in the video, this does have a quad camera on the back of this phone. Here you can see it along this fin on the side. So it's a 40 megapixel wide angle, a 16 meg ultra wide angle followed by a 8 megapixel telephoto one and a4 and a sensor on the bottom and you have that flashlight so this is the Leica branded camera that Huawei usually go with or their flagship camera uh, it's incredible we have shown off this this camera very similar to this one previously and yeah they're they're absolutely awesome you basically you won't be lacking when it comes to video quality at all or picture quality at all. As far as battery size, you're looking at a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. Again, packed into a phone like this, that is incredible. I believe they basically used most of this space on the back behind the screen for battery, so you can get that extra battery storage there. It does support Huawei Supercharge, so you can charge this super, super fast. It comes with a charger in the box. Obviously, as stated before, our box was empty, unfortunately, so I can't show you one of them right now, but it does also support 5G. So you'll see along the top and bottom, there are the bands that uh, connect the network through. They are 5G compatible bands, so you can have 5G, 4G, 3G, all the that you want, and you'll be secured for the future. Obviously, you will need a 5G compatible SIM card, and the SIM card tray is on the top of the device as well. So also, as stated, this does run on HMS. Now that does mean that none of the Google services are currently available on it. That doesn't mean that it's impossible to get them. It just means strictly through the Huawei Gallery or application store they have based on this actual device, you cannot download your Google applications. However, there are ways of doing it. We won't go into too much detail this video if that's something you want to see. Now we're gonna go on to what the phone, the actual exterior of the phone in a bit more detail. So in the last video, I sort of br briefly went over everything. What I will do in this video is go into a little bit more detail. So at the top, you will notice there is a speaker. Now this is usually for phone calls type things. If you're watching, say, video or YouTube, it'll give that more surround sound sort of feel. Also at the top, you have your SIM card tray and your SD port. Now this is a dual SIM model, this version we have here. That means you'll be able to put two SIM cards in or one SIM, one SD upgrade. So that's where you put them in the top here. You'll also notice on the top and bottom, there are these caps over the hinge and this is to stop dust other little particles getting in to the actual hinge itself getting into the device and sort of breaking in that hinge so you will notice these little caps on the top and bottom working our way down the side you have the volume knocker here so this is for turning the volume up and down pretty self-explanatory below that you have your fingerprint scanner and on and off button so it works the fingerprint scanner and the button that wakes up or puts the phone to sleep on the other side this is just display so obviously when you open it up, it just becomes display. So there's nothing here, this is just the hinge. You will notice on this side though, when fully extended, there is a slight crease in the screen. Now this is nothing like other foldable phones that I've seen personally. This crease is barely noticeable and the only way you can notice it is, is in certain lights. I'll try and include a little clip of how it actually looks just so you can see with your own eyes how unnoticeable it actually is. Coming around to the back of the phone, you have your quad camera as previously stated, 
you have that flashlight and you have a Leica branding along with the Huawei branding, along with the red button that actually that you click to actually unfold the phone itself. So that's where that is. And finally, on the bottom of the phone, you have your USB type C port and you have your, your loudspeaker on the bottom for the main audio coming out the bottom of the device here. Something I also want to mention is that this hinge is much more sturdy than previous models, previous foldable models that we've had before. This hinge feels really strong and really sturdy. I would say that almost you have to use both hands to pull this hinge out sometimes and especially to put it back in. This is actually a step in the right direction in my opinion because making these phones more secure and less chance of breaking is definitely a good thing. When you're putting pressure on this, not that I would advise doing this, but going the other way, it just feels like a normal phone. You would not be able to bend it past the point that it's already at. It feels just as strong and I believe that is down to some of the technology that Huawei have used inside along with these points on the top and bottom that help stop dust and other particles. Overall this is a very impressive design for a foldable phone in my opinion. Actually on the I would say inside of the phone maybe but also the back you have this awesome purple color along with the clip obviously where you press the unlock button for the display. See on our model it says not for sale so as this is a prototype as I've previously said, this may not be what the final version looks like, but it's a pretty good idea. This is what we were sent by Huawei, so probably pretty close. Now, something I quickly forgot to state in the last video when I was going through the box is that this will actually include a foldable case on the phone inside the actual box, along with a guide on how to actually put this case on your phone. Now, I didn't know it had that, but I was informed that it did actually have that case inside the box. Obviously our box was empty, but in the version, if you were to buy this phone on release, it will have that case in it. And that is probably something that I would advise using as this phone does feel, although strong, it feels extremely delicate. I think it's because of that wraparound screen. To me, it feels very slippy because usually on the back of a phone, it has this either metal panel or some other plastic maybe. When it's all screened the whole way around, it does feel a little bit more slippy. Maybe it's just in my head because I know it's all screen and I know it's worth a lot of money. It feels like a very, very, very high quality phone though is what I would notice. So anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. This is more of a spec breakdown. If you wanna know anything else about the Huawei XS that we have here, just let us know in the comments below and we'll try and answer them for you. We will have a few more videos on this XS in the future, so stay tuned for them. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more about this. But as far as the spec breakdown, I believe we've gone through all the specs necessary and all the specs in the spec sheet that we've been provided. So if you wanna know anything else, let us know and we'll answer them to the best of our abilities. We answer every single comment. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we have the Mate XS again, but this one with a little bit of a twist. So we're going to compare this to the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. 